Alright, what's up guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. I have a- I have had a drink, and I am now not dying of thirst, or dehydration or anything, which is always good. Now, in this episode, we are going to Mount Pyre, which is where we actually have to go, because we can't go to the right to our next city to get our next gym badge, because Team Magma are blocking the way because they're dicks. So, away we go. I have raised the team a little bit, so they are all level 36 now. And Shroom now has a new move, which is probably going to fail here because of all the ghost types. This is the graveyard. I kind of like this music. It fits. It's like uh, Lavender Town music. It, it fits, kind of. It's like they've got that creepy sort of thing going on. This is the final resting place of my Zigzagoon. I cherished it. Shame. Did you come to pay our respects to the spirit of departed Pokemon? You must care for your Pokemon a lot. No, I didn't come here for that, though. I came here to whoop some ace. See, Sky Uppercut, which now we are completely, like, screwed by ghost types, but eh, whatever. Who cares? Oh, Steel Wing. Yeah. I'm gonna, um, raise Rooks a little more, because, well, until I get a good move for, um, Breloom, because Breloom is physical, very physical based. It's got a lot of attack, but not so much special attack. Grass is kind of useless for it, because grass is special in this generation, so... Like, it moves when didn't, like, have... Oh, it's physical, it's special. It was pretty much like... Um... It was pretty much like... T too bad, bag is full. It was like, fire type is special, all fire type moves will be special. Normal type's physical. All normal type moves will be physical. Even if it's hyper beam, it's physical. All water types are special, even if it's aqua tail, or something like that. It thought it was going to be special. Uh, we need to get rid of something. Uh, in this part, I think, actually, yeah. Uh, do we do we need these potions? Uh, I don't think we need them. Toss. Me. Who needs potions? Yo, I'm gonna need those now. I'm gonna be like, I need. Them. Oh, I just remembered. I, I didn't even pick up the item. It was just like, yeah. Rooks is confused. Rooks don't give two shits. He kick your ass. Right, there we go. Cleanse targets. I think that keeps away ghost types or boosts ghost types or something like that. Don't really. I don't really use items, as you can see. I'll have a look though. <laughs> Speed up. Yeah, it repels wild Pokemon. Okay. So basically, um, as you can see, no Pokemon have any items because I don't. I don't use items that much. Like it's a rarity for me to actually use an item. Where does this go? Ah, right. So this is Mount Pyre, the outside, anyways. And this music reminds me of Mystery Dungeon music. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I don't know which one it is though. But then again, I think they re reused one of the songs or two of the songs in there anyways. But like, it's quite similar. This is quite similar to um, a track in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I think. I'm not sure if it's Time or Red or Sky or something like that. It's one of them. I, I don't really follow the music, like what music is in what game. I just play them and enjoy them. Which is what you're supposed to do with games, obviously. If you didn't enjoy them, why would you play it? That'd be stupid. Also, these graves have items on them. So, I'll be checking them. See? Like that. Max Heather. I mean, I don't use Max Heathers. I don't use anything. An Ultra Ball. I don't use anything. I'm like, freaking items? What are items? What are those things? But I like Mount Pyre. Mount Pyre is quite cool. And now we have the Team Magma Grunts to deal with. Now, I'm going to put... Shroom first, because Shroom, I want, I want to freaking chest sh them Shroom and whoop some ass, because Shroom's going to do massive damage. I'll show you exactly how scary Team Magma can be. Ah, nice joke, because you're in a graveyard. Ah, <laughs> I get it. You smart person. Oh no, Zubat. Cut it down. I don't know what he's sending in. A Zubat? Ah, cut it down. <laughs> oh no, another Zubat? What am I going to do? Cut it down. That was, that was such a challenging battle. I can't believe I, I I actually won. That was so hard. My God. <laughs> of course I'm being sarcastic. If I wasn't being sarcastic, I'd be very bad at this game. <laughs> and I mean, like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not even gonna go off that. Yeah. What's up with you? What does a single kid expect to do? I expect to whoop some mess and get all the ladies. Team Magma Grunt would like to battle Buchiana. Oh, that thing is dead. Get ready for a one-hit KO, everybody. BAM! 
I didn't even have to use that. That was just overkill. That would have killed two Poojianas. Watch, watch how strong this move is. Boom! Dead. I didn't even have to, like, generic, generally, like, go, oh, you know what? That's not gonna kill, because 112 attack plus 85 power. <laughs> it's like pretty much 200 damage, and it was a Poojiana and a Numo. They're not gonna have a lot of HP. Hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. But pretty much anything that's, like, weak to, um, fighting is gonna get wrecked by, uh, Shroom. Why do they all have stupid poopy Pokemon? Get better ones. <laughs> I'm just gonna sky up a call of them. It's, it's actually got not bad accuracy, and it's got not bad power, so, I mean, why not? You'd have to be crazy to not use it. Hey, it's the leader. Maxi, not you again! You've impeded our plans repeatedly. Repeatedly? Repeatedly! <laughs> but this time you're too late! I'm not too late, you're still here! If I was late, you wouldn't be here! The blue orb that rested atop Mount Pyre, I Maxi claim it as mine! Hey, you can't walk past me, I can stop you! Finally, I can realize my grand design! Is he, is he on that show, Grand Designs? Is he building a house? What's going on here? Come on, crew, it's Slateport next- You already were at Slip. what? His plans make no sense. Oh no, this cannot happen. How could they take the blue orb? Nice, nice name for it. Not like, not like the ocean orb and the flame orb. No, the blue orb and the red orb. Just to be simple. Like, what should we call this amazing, magnificent orb of a lot of power? Hmm, blue orb, red orb. Yeah, seems legit. <laughs> The blue orb and the red orb must never be separated. They belong together. They're married! Hmm, fine. You take the remaining red orb. Please take after that foul man and get back- get the other orb back. Yeah. We got a red ball, everybody. We got a red ball. Mount Pyra is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of Hoenn. This, the disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. Is it coincidence that you are here? Will you hear out my tale, a tale long told in the Hoenn region? Yeah, sure, why not? It happened long, long ago. I wish I could have like an animation going on right now. The world was wrecked by a ferocious clash, clash between the Pokemon of the land and the Pokemon of the sea, growled a nine Kyogre. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in vicious storms and massive infernos. The red and blue orb brought the end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and became the enraged adversaries. The pair, made docile, burrowed deep under the ground where eventually they disappeared. Lovely story you got there. I'll tell it I'll tell it to some small children and they'll be like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> and also how did you get in my house, most likely? Cause I don't I don't know any young children. <laughs> be weird if I did actually. Kinda weird. But anyways, I'm gonna speed run out of here. And it wouldn't, I mean, by saying speed run, I don't mean oh, I'm just going to speed run the entire game. So I'll be speed run. I mean, basically, I'm going to speed out. I'm going to speed up and get out of there. We're going to explore the rest of this inside pack. Because I know there's battles to be had and people to whoop some S of and items. Memories of my darling ski. My eyes overflow thinking about it. Your eyes overflow? Do you mean you're crying or do you mean your eyes actually like, roll onto the ground? Sort of thing. Weirder. I don't trust you. You there. Yeah, see, everyone battles you here. Hey, are you searching for Pokemon? You came along after me. You're rude. Not rude. That thing? If that thing doesn't have Steady, it's dead. Actually, I don't think Steady works like that in this game anyways. Yep, Steady doesn't work like that in this game anyways. It only works when you kill yourself, I think. With explosion. Or one-hit KO moves, I think, like Fissure and stuff. I can't remember. Okay. I know that that guy's called Luke. I swear this guy's called Luke. Just saying. Before we battle him, if he's called Luke, you have to say something in the comments. I don't know. You don't have to. You don't. You really don't have to say anything in the comments, but just be nice, you know, have some involvement and all. all right, what are you called? Got it! Got it! Got it in one! I knew there was someone with my name. There always is. And there's always a knob somewhere. Which is quite funny. I'll cream you and... Whoa. He'll cream me? We're not having a freeway, are we? I mean, it's not getting a freeway, but I mean, well, I ain't down for that. Go, my Pokemans. 
Sorry about uh, cutting off the recording there, but we were getting short on time, and I want to make this an extra long episode, which I've been doing with the past few episodes. So, yeah. Stop being in love, dammit. Are you in love anymore? I killed the thing. Hey, he roared me. Hey, you're going to regret that. I have the sky uppercut. He's got quick attack, though, and he don't care. Sky uppercut. Bang, dead. Young couple, Des and Luke. Des is a girl's name? What? What? Des is a girl's name? It's weird. Weirdo. Ouch, ouch, there are holes in the ground here and there. I didn't notice and I took a tumble from the floor above. <laughs> I can just imagine walking around here in here and just one random guy like falling straight from the ceiling and just landing on someone. Just like, surprise, motherfucker. Oh, hello, ladies. Ahaha! This is no place for children. Least of all you. I like that music that I was playing for that ball. That's like my favorite ball music, like when people walk up to you. It's cool. I wish I could play like an instrument of some kind. I really do. I, I think I want to pick up like piano or something. Guitar. One of the two. Something that's easier to learn. That doesn't involve mouth. I don't like really blowing into things. <laughs> I don't like getting my lips around circular objects. It's not my way. <laughs> uh, if I could have done that without laughing, that would have been better. But oh well. Couldn't help it. Why does he have purple hair? Why do you have purple hair? Hey. You. Yeah, you. Why'd you have purple hair? The rich atmosphere of the mountain has elevated my psychic power. I mean, a child like you, do you dream of winning? No, I don't dream of winning. I am winning. I am Charlie Sheen. You will never see it coming, but I am Charlie Sheen. Oh, he actually does have purple hair on his sprite. Why is his hair purple? I dream of winning. Victory shall be mine. Winning. I drown in self-pity. Well, that's because you thought you could win, and you couldn't. Because Charlie Sheen is winning. Hey you. Hey, you spinning around in circles? Teacher, please watch over my progress. Uh, well, this is a Pokemon graveyard. Were you trained by like a Machop or a Hitmonlee or a Hitmonchop or... Hitmonchop. <laughs> I've made a new Pokemon, everybody. The Hitmonchop. It's like a Hitmontop mixed with a Machop. And it knows Karate. Yeah. New Pokemon, everybody. Time to whoop some ass. Wow, it lived. Hariyama. Yeah, no, die. You're supposed to die. That's the point. You die, and I win. Teacher, please forgive me. The Hitmonchop will not forgive you. He will never forgive you. He is the almighty Hitmonchop. He's like one ton punch chop. <laughs> hey. How are you today? <laughs> I love all things horrifying. It's like a disease. When I'm here, I shiver with fear. Stop rhyming! Stop, stop just rhyming. No, no rhymes for you. Oh, it's a shepherd. That's the first shepherd we've seen, I think. Die, shepherd. Ah, it cursed me. I remember when curse used to get on my nerves, and now I just do this. Ta-da! No more curse. It tried to recover when it had full HP. Well played. You did, you did good. You recovered at full HP because you knew I'd be faster, but you didn't predict my fly. Because I'm unpredictable and I am a crazy ass motherfucker. Hey, I can walk right around this person. When I am here, a curious power flows into me. I, if any, uh, you know, I've been, you, you'll, if you like, don't like swearing, well, I apologize, but you know, I am like. 17, and it's what I do. It's part of the job. Why Why do I keep... Oh, yeah. It's a Sabli. I actually like Sabli. Like, I never used to like Sabli. I never used to get why it existed. It was just a Pokemon that was there for me. But when they added a second ability, which is Prankster, that thing is a troll. Like, it is the, it's just so trollish. Because it goes fast. Prankster makes it go fast. If you use a move... It, bleh, <laughs> I can't talk. If it uses a move that doesn't deal damage, like Toxic, anything like that, 
substitute, recover. It'll go first. So, that's basically what that can do. It can go first and just troll the crap out of anyone. Makes people rage on them biscuits. I don't know why they rage on biscuits. Oh, and by the way, we have lemonade. So, if we ever need to heal, we have lemonade. Why do I sit like that? Because I can lemonade. Hmm. Well, you know what we don't need? We don't need these. No, not one. I'm oh, fine, we'll toss one. And then we toss two more. Goodbye, escape ropes. Hmm. Now we have the Lex Incense. Me, 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 me. Which one? Eeny, meeny, miny, ma. Down we go. Ah, oh, the picture right, good. What's this? We're probably going to be able to hold anything. Is it for incense? What's with all the incenses? Uh. Me. Stop. Bag. There we go. Ah, uh, I don't know what to get rid of. Ethers? I'll get rid of the ethers. Not two ethers, I want to get rid of four ethers. No, bad game. Listen to me. Listen to me wisely. Down we go. And... Down we go. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. As we make our way out. I don't know why I decided to, like, record the way out, but, you know, whatever. Um... But yeah, I hope you're all having a wonderful day on this fine day of whatever day I've uploaded this. <laughs> and, um, goodbye everybody. We will be back in the next episode of Pokemon Ruby. Walk through, finger my doodly, watch my goody giddy. Let's play. Whatever. I don't care. I don't know what it is. Ian says let's play, people say let's play, I say it's a thing. It's a thing, everybody. It's a beautiful thing.